In my keynote, the Dashboards tab has many different options, but the standard dashboard for web and mobile is the default that comes up when you just click on Dashboards in the navbar. Once I'm on that page, I'm seeing a customized view of my own measurements. In this view, some of the cells may or may not be colored yellow or red, depending on what the performance and availability numbers are. Now those are thresholds you set in your dashboard. First of all, click on the cogwheel, and there's a thresholds option at the bottom of that list. This is where you can set a global value that's going to apply to all the measurements in your list. We've already done that in our dashboard, and as it refreshes, we can see real-time values for performance and availability. At times, you'll have a measurement that you want to override those global values. So if you mouse over a measurement, you'll see the values that are currently assigned as thresholds. Those are probably the global values, but you can override those by clicking on the pencil icon. That lets you enter a value that makes sense for whatever the performance is for your measurement. And then you click on the little blue check mark here to save those values. That'll set the thresholds specifically for that individual measurement. Once you've done that, you can always refresh the dashboard with this refresh icon, although the dashboard refreshes by itself every 60 seconds. You can sort by the column headers, sort by name, sort by type, so on and so forth. And you can also filter up top if you wanted to bring up just the dashboard section for your specific set of measurements. Click on the cogwheel to check out a couple more settings here, and you can set those for your own account. Show critical only will filter the dashboard to show only measurements that have red or yellow values showing. Auto refresh is on by default. That just means it updates itself every 60 seconds. Lights out mode will make it a dark background, so you can just have a darker view if you're in a dark room and compact view will make a more condensed view to show more measurements in the real estate of your browser. Lastly, if any of the boxes shows a red or a yellow value, you can click the box and Keynote will drill down to the scatterplot chart to show you all the data that we're collecting and you can investigate from there. Thank you for watching.